I'm not going to be the best vibes today. <laughs> Suddenly this poached egg lands on Sophie. <laughs> Oh my god, now I look like Mr. Harvey from The Lovely Bones. Oh, great. Oh my god, it's the bank holiday weekend. Let's bang on those tunes. These are our tunes. <laughs> but the tigers come at night. Turn to the right to add, turn to the left. See, now you're making me regret not getting trains. So it is Monday and I'm just on a Portobello road. I'm actually working in Notting Hill today. So I'm meeting up with Prina, who was on my podcast, and I'm having a little work date. And we're meeting in Gales. We actually had a plan to meet somewhere else before, but they don't allow people to work in there, which is so fair. And so we're heading now, but it's actually really nice seeing Notting Hill like this when it's actually really, really quiet. It reminds me of like lockdown days. So now back home from working out with Prina today and it's a, lo a little while later. I've basically just been glued to my laptop, my eyes sting. So I just went and sat and watched some YouTube in bed, which wasn't helping any of the situations. My stomach's starting to hurt again. Surprise, surprise. I've been talking about this in every weekly vlog recently. I'm just on like a constant period at the moment when I'm not supposed to have any. So um, so still suffering with that, nothing new. I actually did buy a load of BU patches because they're one of the only things that help relieve a bit of the pain. And then the heat patches that I used in last week's vlog from from Dio Doc, I think I got that right. Um, but I'll leave both of those down below just in case anyone else needs them right now because fucking hell, it's really bad. And yeah, anyway, so I was just like rotting in bed, but I actually got all of my work done today. I've decided, right, I need to continue my toxic productivity, not have a break and go and declutter and tidy everywhere because I'm just everywhere such a shit hole at the minute in my flat because of my looming depression because of my pill. So there's these few like bowls on the side of my bed, like, Everything is just a mess and I'm so embarrassed by everything so I'll try and show you a bit of the declutter organisation but I'm genuinely embarrassed by some of it so I feel like I can't fully do it. I mean like I've just opened my this is this is okay because this is from Brighton which we came back from yesterday. I'm gonna try and sort this through this stuff first maybe. In here is not too bad, still quite a lot of rubbish everywhere. The kitchen side's a mess. A lot of that is just recycling though that just needs to be taken downstairs. And then just like my room and the wardrobe room is just all of my mess. So let's tidy it, I guess. Sorry, I wish I showed you what it looked like before. I, I think you might have been able to see actually, but how stunning. Everything is cleaned down and wiped down. I have no idea what me and Aiden are doing for dinner. I'm just waiting for him to come back from golf. Um, but I have like blitz the flat. I think he's gonna be come in and be really impressed with me. <laughs> you can tell like my love language isn't acts of service. Mine's the words of affirmation. So I do the acts of service so that I get rewarded with affirmations. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just literally sat here and watching some YouTube. I'm really happy for like for once I ticked everything off my to-do list, which doesn't happen very often because I usually cram it full of stuff. So it's unachievable to complete it all, but somehow I've managed to do it today. And I'm gonna have a little bit of time left tomorrow morning to do some stuff before heading out. I'm actually seeing Carrie and Liv tomorrow, so that'll be really nice and I'll show you what we get up to. Morning, girlies, how are we all doing? I'm trying on my new cargo skirt from PLT. It's actually gorgeous, it's slightly too big for me, but um, I quite like it being roomy, especially because I'm just about to go for a ZZ. <laughs> I'm just bloating so crazy at the moment. I think it's to do with my period stuff, but I'll save that talk for my people in my personal life because I feel like I'm sick of even editing myself talking about it on here. Um, but I wanted to show you this. It's, I'm not wearing it today. It's a little scarf hack, and I think this might be so dumb to some people because some people might have already done this, but I can't believe I never even thought of it. So usually I wear my scarf like this if I'm not wearing it practically, and I just sort of want to add like a pop of colour to an outfit, you know what I mean? Like I just kind of like draping it over. If it's actually cold, then I'll just flip that over like that so that my neck's warm or do that old fashioned way if it's like a longer scarf, you know, where you like do this and then you push them through here, but it's not long enough to do that. Um, and I didn't know this, such a good scarf hack because when I have it on like this, you know, if you're wearing like a coat or something, it just keeps slipping down like this, it's so annoying. To so just do this, so you just make a little knot 
and then it's just secure there it's very like firm in place you've got your neck warm it still looks cool as well and it's just really cute but i thought i'd share that just in case anyone else was silly like me and hadn't heard of that i'm just wearing this outfit today this is from imprint we trust they do really cool little baby tees and i'm obsessed with this one this one has a little lover on love a pop of green i'm actually wearing my brown leather jacket with this and then some brown shoes I'm going to a shoe pop-in event to see their new, uh, some of their new collections, like from some of the different shoe brands that are stocked in shoe. <laughs> if that makes sense, shoe is in S-C-H-U-H, -H, the brand. Um, and actually, I wanted to shout them out purely because of how amazing they've made this event. I know obviously it's really annoying that I can't take you to these events physically. I would wish, I wish I could, but I always try and like speak to brands and see if there's anything I can offer you back, whether that is like a discount code or a gift voucher or a giveaway or things like that, because obviously you just want to in involve everyone, like you're all my friends here. And I just, I just wanted to shout them out because they sent over a massive accessibility form, which I think is so amazing and something so simple that a lot of brands or anyone hosting events should be able to do to make sure that the venue is accessible for disabled creators like prioritizing their feelings and their needs and treating them like a normal human i thought that was amazing it was like a three four page pdf like on all the accessibility that they're doing for this event and even like with sensory and noises and like neuro neurodivergence like making sure there are times where they can like turn the music down and make people feel more comfortable in that way too which i think was just incredible so i wanted to shout them out for that and secondly because um obviously influencers get sent loads of like loads of stuff and like it's really bad for the environment they are making sure that if you want to get a complimentary pair of trainers or shoes at the event then you have to bring in some shoes that they can reuse in another way so i thought that was really amazing that they've done that and i yeah i'm just very grateful that i'm going to an event with such an amazing company that have put like a lot of things in place to make the industry a little bit more positive let's get ready i'm thinking of wearing a cap just because my hair's a bit funny and i haven't had time to style it today I kind of like that and then my jacket and then my brown trainers we're all good to go we're gonna go meet Liv and Carrie first we're going to ZZ and um, trying out some of the spring menu maybe potentially we will see I've got a little message yeah I'm excited to have a little girly day whoop whoop yesterday was just so screwed on with my laptop I'm feeling happy to have like a social day today hi look who it is hello have I, I literally haven't before? I don't think so um, we're in the rain we're in the rain. Where, what happened this morning? Went well, for a ZZ. Yeah, went for a ZZ. So, and now we've just been into shoe. We're literally in, out. Yeah, pretty much. Shake so out. I'll pop on some of my favourite shoes I took a photo of here. And then we've actually picked out, well, we, we traded our old unwanted shoes bag. for some new pairs. Oh, you did? I'll pop on the screen. If you I'm still going to be risky. Right. <laughs> what else? Lovely. Perfect. I thought they're good for like spring. Little black Look, belt. These are my Club C grounds. See, now you're making me regret not getting trainers. What flavour matches you getting? We, the white chocolate. I got blue. You, you and blueberry. Can, blueberry is my favourite. You can tell by the grey. But I don't want to mix it just yet because apparently it's really good like. Wait, I'm going to take a picture of the fun mix. <laughs> People watch it. Hey, got really? the white chocolate um, matcha from Black Sweet, which is a first impression, right? It does taste nice. like a milky bar. But vegan? Nice yeah. It? Like a vegan milky bar? Can we try it? I don't like oat milk. Has it got oat milk in it? Yeah. Oat milk tastes like sick. It's kind of a drastic thing, isn't it? Yeah. Considering I'm drinking out of another. I like it. <laughs> I think blueberry is better. Blueberry is better, for sure. The, the way people were hyping the white chocolate, I thought it was going to be better. Life changed. I feel it's going to be life changing. Yeah. Blueberry is not, pleasant. It's not as sweet as blueberry. Yeah, but the colour that blueberry goes, isn't it? True. It's great. Yeah. Okay, well, I'd give what well, blueberry is 10 out of 10 for me. But I think I'd, I think I'd go for the blueberry if I was mm. going to get a match. Got for great. I'm rating it a. Um, <laughs> it's going viral, so watch what you say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving this a. Who's the bitch in the middle? I'm seven. giving this a 7. Yeah, yeah I'm just giving it a 7. <laughs> and the blueberry is a 10, so. <laughs> The Hi guys. Miss Tyler. Miss <laughs> Tyler <laughs> girl. I've just got no tan and I've... Yeah, you do. No, you look. Look, very look, guys, that's peel. Oh. I haven't catch up yeah. afterwards. Like, just wearing the change around. Right. <laughs> yeah, and I don't want to get anyone in it, but um, we're at a super drug spin class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just about to go out and meet my friend Sophie. 
some of you might remember if you've been watching the weekly vlogs i made a friend because sophie reached out to me on instagram so i've been meeting most weeks um and it's just been really nice and really refreshing to yeah make friends in my 20s um i'm actually going out in like a really low mood today so i have messaged before i know I shouldn't need to do that but just my anxiety was getting too much and I was like I really want Sophie to know that I'm not going to be the best vibes today um I've literally just been crying every single day this week like constantly and I feel like I've very much not shown that on camera um I literally just ha had a breakdown on TikTok so that's how my fucking week's going that's embarrassing I don't really get embarrassed by stuff but like when I deep it I'm like I've gone to TikTok to cry because I just I don't know I just feel like Oh god, all my friends are so lovely and stuff, but I just don't want to constantly be reaching out to them crying. Which I know is literally like the opposite advice, advice of what I'd ever tell anyone else. Like, if any of my friends are upset, I wouldn't be like, you've cried to me too much this week, don't, don't cry again. Um, but I just feel like this big negative ball of horribleness and like my self esteem's really bad. It's just everything is fucked. And it's all because of this, almost said the C word, but YouTube will kill me for that, so... But just to let you know, that's what I think of this disgusting pill. And um, people keep telling me to like, to like change it, which I know is such a fair thing to say. Oh my God, now I look like Mr. Harvey from The Lovely Bones. Oh, great. Um, but yeah, I'm going out to try and get out of this funk because I'm literally just sat on my laptop, like bawling my eyes out. Like literally there's like tears streaming down my face and I can't see anything. So I thought, right, pick up the camera and surely I can't cry. <laughs> And then I think me and Carrie are going to go for a walk, depending on how the weather pans out. Currently, it's going to rain all day, and it was like pissing it down this morning, and now it's like kind of sunny. So we can only pray, right? Let me put this water bottle in my bag. I just need my phone charger, and we'll be good to go. Let's go meet Sophie and try change my day around slash week slash life. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I forgot my whole point was like, everyone telling me to change pill, but I don't want it to be a long term thing. So I don't want to like, now fuck my body up by going on another pill and trying another pill. Like, I don't want it to work because I don't want to be putting a contraceptive pill in my body. I don't like what it does to me, what any of them have really done to me. And I don't want to be on it. Full stop. <laughs> so yeah, there's just no point in me changing until I've had my gynecology appointment in April. And then hopefully from that point onwards, I will have some sort of like surgery to look forward to or MRI scan to look forward to. Something that's going to push me in the right direction. I'm taking Aiden to my appointment because that's what Dr. Nagat said at the Cambridge talk I did. She's a GP. One of the only good ones I've ever heard. <laughs> and she was like, take your boyfriend in. The world is sexist, so... I'm just going to have to use that to my advantage in this case, which will actually infuriate me if I suddenly get a diagnosis or serious help because I brought my boyfriend in to like validate my feelings and make the doctor be serious about me. But he, he is like a second opinion. Like, I don't know if that would be the case maybe if my mum took me in. But I do just think men are taken, well, they, it's like a fact, men are taken more seriously in medical environments because women are always seen to be overdramatic or, you know, like overreacting. So men only go when they actually have the real problems so they just get listened to properly and it's like it's just a fact of life the medical system is misogynistic take a look at bmi for example it was only tested on caucasian males do you know what i mean that's what bmi is based off caucasian males it doesn't make any sense right anyway I, I literally could talk about this for years so let's go try and have a nice day away from my laptop actually no i'm not taking i'm taking my laptop with me so i can work with carrie but i was gonna say away from my laptop screen but my morning away from my laptop screen it's no one believed me when i said i've been crying all week i'm literally sat on the tube on the way to sophie like crying my eyes out on the tube looking like this the next station is clapham south right so it's raining and sophie is genuinely cheered me up from this morning like i was actually crying on my vlog like, help me i think that's what, what i needed like something yeah. weird to happen like that as well like <laughs> so we're in tooting we're we were at mud this cafe in tooting broadway and um <laughs> we just sat there have minded our business with our coffee no one's gonna believe it like it's just so <laughs> and suddenly this poached egg lands on sophie <laughs> Why is that? Why is that the funniest thing ever? <laughs> We're just laughing because then he like served these women because he didn't notice that the egg had flown onto our <laughs> table, and they were like, "I think we're missing an egg." We were just like sat on your hand. <laughs> And then we were just walking out and they go, did you enjoy your egg? And like, oh. <laughs> That's so funny that they mentioned it. <laughs> God, 
god, that really had us laughing for a while. It was exactly what I needed to know. But yeah, we had a lovely little coffee, didn't we? A little yes. catch up. It was gorgeous. Um, and we decided next week we're going on a run. <laughs> Yay! And a coffee. <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to do like a little reading date as well, which will be so nice. And hopefully the weather's nicer than this because yeah. I don't want to run in do this. Do you know what? It was so much worse than this before. We're lucky that this yeah, is true, 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 true. Look who I'm with. I'm pretty. Got a pretty. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling shy. Are you? <laughs> anyway, I'm with Carrie now. Just, just doing some work and stuff. Me. Had a walk in the rain, which is quite therapeutic. And then we're going to Shake Shack, aren't we? So we're skipping ahead a couple of days and at the weekend I went to go see my brother and his girlfriend up in Liverpool. They're only living there for a few more months so we wanted to go see their place, hang out with them there, let, the, let them show us around and stuff. They're actually living in Ormskirk which is where David went to uni in Edgehill. Um, but we did like a little day trip to Liverpool, did an escape room and stuff. But yeah, this... It's so funny because it just suddenly cuts to me and Aiden singing musical songs in the car. You know, like everyone else is like, oh my God, it's the bank holiday weekend. Let's bang on those tunes. These are our tunes. So in Liverpool, we stumbled across this little Asian street food market, went there for lunch, did an escape room, like a money heist escape room, and then went to this arcade. Um, I think it's called Gravity Max. We were just playing in there for a little while and then in the evening went to Panoramic for some cocktails and then skip forward to Sunday. Good morning, it's Sunday. <laughs> it's actually Easter Sunday today. Me and Aiden drove down yesterday to Liverpool, which you will have just seen. Um, to come see my brother and his girlfriend. They live up here, but they're actually moving down soon, so we thought we'd come up here whilst they still live here and make the most of it. We went to an escape room at Game Over, which was really fun. It was like a money heist themed one. Um, we went to a place called Panoramic 34 for like a rooftop bar thing. We found like a cool Asian street food market yesterday, which was really nice as well. Um, and then we were absolutely shattered when we got back, so. Here we are. My skin is having a meltdown because I'm so anxious and weird at the minute. And we're, we guess who we shared a room with last night. This is little Timmy. And where's Vader? And this is Vader. Hi guys. We're trying to make Aiden face his feet. <laughs> Aiden's scared to hold the tortoise. And he always pushes me to face my fears and do things I'm uncomfortable with. So this morning, this is what we're doing. Out. Yeah, come on then. I'm up to get up. You just pick it up by its shell like that, and then just, yeah. He doesn't really like holding pets, do you? There you go, look, he's so calm. Actually, they're just really chill. Just put, put it on your hand. Okay, oh, look, hello, Timmy. How uncomfortable do you feel after? Quite uncomfortable. What's, what is it that makes you feel uncomfortable? Okay. Apparently he really likes little head scratches, but I don't want to freak him out. It's okay. Then we spent the Sunday in Ormskirk. We went to Little Duck Pond, picked up Amber and David's little nephew Avery, and had a wander around, grabbed a little coffee, and then it was time to head home. Just arrived back to our family hometown um, drove back from Liverpool we had the best time with David and Amber like I actually needed to go see my brother like I didn't realize how much I needed a wholesome lovely family orientated weekend um, I'm just so grateful for those two because they just make me like realize the slowness of life there's get, vlogging and both, those, the camera. and both those people watching me the ones behind the till <laughs> is it man yeah. Um, I thought I was making Too it up first back. and I was like, no, no. Bank holiday is over and I'm now back at home in London. I filmed a really lovely podcast episode with Nan earlier 
and we talked a lot about the influence industry from both being a creator and also working PR agencies and brands and the other side of it so it was really interesting to see both of his perspectives and like his biggest pet peeves from both sides of the spectrum um, just really interesting conversation if you're interested in like the influence industry in any sort of capacity and just find it really interesting I feel like we spot a lot of like tea and like truths behind it all so yeah, I'm excited for the episode to go live, but I've got a lot, I'm actually like backlogged, not backlogged, well I am backlogged, I need to do so much editing <laughs> um, this week, but I've got a lot of podcast episodes recorded and filmed, so now I just need to get edit, 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 and edit in so that they're all backed up over the next few weeks because I've got a busy old month in April. I hope you all had a wonderful bank holiday weekend. I'm really hoping for myself that my mental health improves over the next week or so and I can sort of like do something to sort of like combat this weird pill situation. I at least this month have got my gynecology appointment which I can look forward to and hopefully we can make some moves um, towards the MRI and surgery. So things that I'm trying to like tell myself things are looking up, the sun is shining, good things are coming my way, I deserve them, I deserve to be in good health and you all do too so thank you for thank you for sticking around and being really patient with me as i complain and complain every week about this situation but i appreciate you all so much i hope you have a wonderful day please comment a little tortoise emoji i feel like that's fitting because of timmy that you saw earlier on in the vlog and um, comment a little tortoise if you got this far in the video i always love knowing if anyone watches to the end and i will see you very soon for a brand new video bye